to sleep here and I have the best to me to sleep here. Let me give you a quick comparison between the two. Let me throw it in there. I do do a lot of leg lifts and things like that. I'm pretty active in my job. Sometimes my knees um, tend to hurt a little bit, especially whenever I'm doing um, heavier leg press, things like that. So I've been trying these for the past week or so. So I'll give you a, a quick difference between these two. This one's obviously bulkier. Upper joint, I use this on my elbows as well. This is much more sleek. Definitely is easier to put on. And this one tends to stay in place a little bit better. This one, whenever I'm moving around a little bit, sometimes it tends to just kind of walk down, walk down on my knee as the day goes on. And it's not, not in place as, as well. This one doesn't have any kind of material to hold it up. The copper joint actually has this gel, see it there? A little gel strip that keeps it nice and tight, keeps it on your legs, which I like a lot. They both have um, the effect of giving you some knee support. Gives you a little bit of a cooling sensation on the copper joint. This one just kind of gives you more support where you need it here, but it's a little bit bulky. I do notice that through daily use, it does tend to walk down. The stitching on this one, let's take this off so you can get a quick look at it here. Um, the stitching for me is a little bit, a little bit abrasive. It does tend to uh, rub me the wrong way a little bit. I get kind of a, an itch in the back of my leg from that, on the sides of my leg from that stitching. The copper joint, I don't get that nearly as much. It's much more comfortable, much more comfortable feel. I will say though that whenever you're taking the copper joint off or on, make sure that you don't slide this. You can see it's kind of hairy. If I pull this down with this gel on, it'll kind of rip at my hair and it hurts quite a bit. So just make sure you fold it off like that. And then there you go. Whenever it's off, <clears throat> you can tell that the copper joints just much, much smaller. You can hold on the palm of your hand, much less bulky. The best of sports is just a big neoprene sleeve. Both get the job done. I do prefer the, prefer the copper, copper joint um, pad. But I do notice that this one does give me a little bit more support than the copper joint does, probably because of that thickness of material. This one does hold a little tighter, so if you need a little bit more support, I would go for the best of sports. If you want that sleekness and um, you know, just for comfort throughout the day but with a little bit less support, I'd go with the copper joint. So hope that helps you guys make the buying decision. Definitely give these a try, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. This is a quick look at the iPal Enhanced Professional Non-Slip Elastic Compression Knee Brace. And uh, I was really impressed with how well this was built, especially for the money. Um, I do have trouble in my left knee, and so use this when I'm doing any type of walking, hiking, jogging, basketball, or anything of that nature. So um, <clears throat> I gave this thing a thorough run through uh, in, in several of those different activities and found that it was very comfortable to wear, uh, easily comparable, as I mentioned in my written review, with uh, some other brands that I've worn, Body Glove, Mueller, and Ace. And it, it offers good support. I'll show you quickly um, that, number one, the Velcro is super solid, which is nice. Uh, I do like the three strap design. I tend to put the center strap on first and then go with the uh, top and bottom straps. That's just my 
my general uh, way of doing it. I feel like the uh, the open patella support is uh, not quite as firm as some other um, some other knee braces, but still firm enough for support, which I find nice. It's very comfortable to wear for an extended period of time. Uh, the inside of the brace has got this nice vented material, uh, which which does help with keeping this thing fairly cool. I mean, anytime you wear a brace, it's going to be obviously pretty sweaty, uh, but this one does a decent job of, of kind of keeping that to a minimum. Um, I do like the rubberized grip that, that kind of line the top and bottom of this thing. It really helps with uh, keeping this thing on your leg and with these three straps tightened down it, it really doesn't go anywhere. Uh, I heard some people complaining that the side supports weren't good enough. Uh, I guess it depends on what you're doing. Uh, for the activities that I was performing this kind of whatever the hard material is in here, I don't know if it's a plastic or some type of flexible rubber, uh, it was plenty enough for me. I mean, I need some type of uh, bendability in my knees when I'm wearing a brace because I'm actually using it for activity. So this did a very good job of that. Um, so yeah, I mean, th this is the basic idea of what you're getting here. It looks kind of like a, kind of like a squid. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you've got these nice three straps. The the center strap I usually put on first, and then I'll go with the top and bottom. And uh, yeah, this thing works really well on the knee. So I just thought I'd give you guys a look at it on camera so you could see what it looks like, see you know how nice the uh, the seams were, and, and just how, how much you may or may not like this type of knee brace. So yeah, this has been a quick look at the iPow Enhanced Professional Non-Slip Breathable Knee Brace. Hope it helps your purchase decision, and thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in buying one of these products, links to all the products mentioned in this video are in the description down below. If you like and found this video helpful, don't forget to give a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.